8.5 Cryptography. We will spend only one day on this lesson. First we're going to talk about encoding cryptograms. Now just a brief introduction uh, to cryptography in general. You probably know what it is. It's uh, encoding and decoding messages. And it's used very heavily in the military. For example, um, in, war in World War II, the Allies uh, communicated across international boundaries, um, of course. And um, a lot of times, they communicated using code because they didn't want the Germans um, and Japanese to know what their plans were. Uh, cryptography is also uh, heavily used in information security. Um, for example, passwords are often encoded. Um, and it's important in uh, this age of the internet when much personal information is uh, is sent through the internet, um, cryptography becomes important. So um, anyway, that's just a brief introduction to it. Uh, we're studying it now because uh, matrices are often used in cryptography. So the first step of um, cryptography is encoding a message. and the encoded message is called a cryptogram. So let's start with uh, this sample message, Beware the Ides of March. And uh, you'll remember from Shakespeare's play Julius Caesar that um, the soothsayer said this to Caesar, Beware the Ides of March. All right, so the first step in encoding the cryptogram is to um, translate these letters and spaces into numbers. First, you assign a number to each space or letter of the message. Space equals 0, A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, etc. Remember that this is only one method of cryptography. There are millions, literally millions. Um, this is just a simple one to show you how matrices can be used for it. And when we uh, follow this step, then Beware the Ides of March becomes Two five twenty three one eighteen five zero twenty eight five zero nine four five nineteen zero fifteen six zero thirteen one eighteen three eight, um, and the spaces of the message are zeros, um, and each letter has a numerical value. All right, so nothing um, complicated about that. Second, we convert the message into an n by three matrix U. Uh, so. We don't always know how many rows we're going to end up with, but we know that we have to keep the columns to three. Now, there's it's not like there's anything magic about the number three, but um, this is this is called three by three encoding. There's also four by four encoding. There's five by five encoding. There's twenty by twenty encoding. The more complex the matrix, the harder it is to break the code. But uh, for the sake of simplicity, we're going to use um, three by three encoding here. Now, in a second, you'll see why I call it 3 by 3. Um, I, as usual, in math, uh, things become clear as the example develops. So we're going to convert this line of numbers, 2, 5, 23, 1, 18, 5, 0, etc. We're going to convert that into an n by 3 matrix, u. And u equals 2, 5, 23 is the first row, 1, 18, 5 is the next row, 0, 28 is the next row. You see what we did is we just converted this line of numbers into a um, series of rows of three. And as we keep doing that, uh, we end up with this matrix U. And U, by the way, simply stands for uncoded. Um, because this matrix of numbers, even though, of course, it's uh, numbers instead of letters, this is considered an uncoded matrix because, really, uh, anyone could break this code. Uh, all you have to do is just use some common sense. So, so this is considered uncoded, uncoded. Third, you choose any 3x3 three three invertible matrix A. So that's why we call this 3x3 three three encoding. And um, as I said before, there's 4x4, four 5x5, four, five five, etc. Um, and the type of encoding is just determined by uh, the order of the matrix that's used in the encoding. All right, so we're going to use the matrix, uh, this matrix A, uh, 1, negative 2, 2, negative 1, 1, 3, 1, negative 1, negative 4. And um, really, with uh, cryptography, if you're using uh, 3 by 3 
encoding, for example, you really can choose any uh, invertible matrix uh, as long as the person at the receiving end has the same matrix uh, in order to decode it. Um, and that's another good thing about using this kind of cryptography is that the, uh, the encoding matrix can be changed from day to day so that um, spies or eavesdroppers uh, can break the code. All right, so we're going to go with this, this A. In problems that involve cryptography, by the way, you're always going to be given um, the, uh, the encoding matrix. The fourth step, encode the message by multiplying the N by 3 matrix U by matrix A. And um, the equation looks like this, U A equals E. Okay, matrix U times matrix A equals matrix E, where E stands for encoded, encoded matrix. So this is our U. We multiply it by A, and uh, U and A came from the last screen, so nothing new there. And U times A will give us E. Now, uh, of course, this is a good time to uh, practice, so pause the video, multiply these matrices, and then resume when you have an answer. The answer you should have come up with is um, 20, negative 22, negative 73, negative 12, 11, 36, negative 12, 12, 28, 14, negative 19, negative 26, etc. And this is our matrix E and E stands for encoded matrix. So U A equals E. The fifth step is to convert the resulting matrix, this matrix E, into a series of numbers. And all you do there is you simply um, you simply write this matrix E as a single line of numbers. Uh, you know, without any rows. Uh, just one row, really. Um, and uh, the only reason it's, of course, showing up as two lines on this screen is because uh, the line is too long for the screen. But, but a, cryptogram, a cryptogram really is just a series of numbers. So 20, negative 22, negative 73, negative 12, 11, 36, etc. It's just that same matrix E written as a series of numbers. And this encoded series of numbers is called a cryptogram. Now, decoding cryptograms. How do we decode cryptograms? Well, um, this is this is what the person on the receiving end of the uh, encoded message will do. Uh, the sender encodes, and the receiver decodes. All right. So the cryptogram that we got from the last uh, screen is 20, negative 22, negative 73, negative 12, 11, 36, negative 12, 12, 28, 14, negative 19, negative 26, 18, negative 22, negative 53, negative 9, 921, negative 12, 12, 35, 23, negative 41, 13. All right. That cryptogram uh, we want to decode it. Well, first we're going to convert the series of numbers into an n by 3 matrix E, and that matrix E is. This um, this matrix twenty negative twenty two negative seventy three etc. Now of course we already found uh, E um, on the last couple of screens because we were acting as the sender now we're acting as a receiver. Okay so this is what the receiver does um, converts the uh, cryptogram into a matrix E. Second you have to find the matrix A inverse if it's not given. Um, now, usually the receiver will have A inverse, um, and the sender has A, uh, the matrix A. But even if you're not given A inverse, you can just calculate it from A. Now, um, I did already um, teach you how to find inverses in a previous lesson. Um, you can use that method now to find matrix A inverse. You can also, um, if you if you like to explore your calculator functions. Um, many graphing calculators now, when they're in matrix mode, do have a button or a function that simply calculates the inverse for you. So you can do that too. So pause the video, find A inverse, and then resume when you have it. 
A inverse is this matrix, negative 1, negative 10, negative 8, negative 1, negative 6, negative 5, 0, negative 1, negative 1. Third, we're going to decode the message by multiplying the n by 3 matrix E by matrix A inverse. And that matrix equation looks like this. Matrix E times matrix A inverse equals matrix U. So this is my matrix E. I multiply it by matrix A inverse and I get matrix U, which stands for, of course, uncoded matrix. And that matrix U is 2, 5, 23, 1, 18, 5, 0, 28, 5, 0, 9, 4, 5, 19, 0, 15, 6, 0, 13, 1, 18, 3, 8. All right, the next step then in decoding is um, convert the resulting matrix into a series of letters and spaces. So 0 equals space, 1 equals A, 2 equals B, 3 equals C, etc. And we get the original message, beware the Ides of March. Okay, so now you know how to encode a message and decode a message. And um, as I did mention earlier, when this is uh, actually used in in information security or in the military, um, the uh, matrices are much more complex uh, because that makes uh, the code much much harder to break. The classwork, um, since this is the last section of the chapter, then as usual, the uh, homework after, or the, sorry, the classwork after the last section is um, already beginning the review. And it does also in include the new material that we just covered. So part one, uh, page 629, numbers 49 and 55, and also page 634. Make sure that you write down all of these numbers. Uh, that's part one. And then um, review exercises part two, uh, page 632, and those numbers. So uh, please write these down. and. Uh, in the next class, we're going to uh, work on part one, and that will cover the new material and begin our review.